So, so far we have defined the trigonometric ratios and we defined it with respect to like you take the angle, you take a right angle opposite to it and you define the ratio as like opposite upon hypotenuse or adjacent upon hypotenuse and so on. But this definition is somewhat restrictive that your angle is you cannot think of the angle outside of 0 and pi by 2. Right? What would it mean for theta to be like larger than pi by 2? Then you cannot really fit a triangle like this. So, in order to generalize these trigonometric ratios to angles beyond 0 and pi by 2. So, it will be helpful to think in terms of the coordinate system which in which you have the x axis and you have the y axis and you index you address points in the plane by two numbers one is its projection on the x axis. So, maybe this is like 4 and its projection on the y axis which maybe it is 3 right. So, all points on this entire plane can be addressed by two numbers right and now we can connect this point to the origin right. And if we look look back on this trigonometric ratios, we can drop drop this perpendicular on the x axis and note that this thing is 3 which is the y coordinate of this point right and this length is 4 which is the x coordinate of this point. And now by Pythagoras theorem you can see that the length of the hypotenuse is 5 right. And now, if we think of this angle theta from our definitions sin theta is 3 divided by 5, but more generally if my point was not 4 comma 3, let us say it was the point x comma y where this is y and this length is x and the hypotenuse is square root of x square plus y square, then the sine of the angle will be by definition y over square root of x square plus y square right. And now, once we have defined it this way, now we are no more bound by being constrained between 0 and pi by 2 right. So, here now we can extend this definition to angles which are even beyond uh, pi by 2. So, for example, let us take an angle like this, maybe this angle is like let us say 2 pi by 3, it is an angle which is larger than pi by 2 and let us say it is indexed by the coordinates x comma y. then the sign of this angle. So, let us say this is x 1 and y 1, we will still have that the sign of this angle 2 pi by 3 is given by y 1 divided by square root of x 1 square and y 1 square right. And similarly, cos of this angle is will be given by x 1 divided by square root of x 1 square plus y 1 square. So, now one thing to note here is that x 1 for this point is negative and y 1 is positive. So, the cos of this angle is less than 0 whereas, the sin of this angle is greater than 0 right. So, in general it will be useful to think of the coordinate system and know the signs of the signs and cosines of angles. So, if if we are in the first quadrant, second quadrant, this is the third quadrant, this is the fourth quadrant. So, here in this quadrant sign of the angle for an angle in this quadrant will be positive and the cosine will also be positive. Here the sine will still be positive whereas, the cosine will be negative. In this quadrant sine will be negative and cosine will also be negative, sine is negative and cosine is positive. 
So, so far what we have seen is we have defined the trigonometric ratios and we have defined it now for angles beyond 0 and pi over 2 and we have seen some trigonometric identities.